Hi farm friends, welcome to Haven Acres. I'm Stacy. Thank you for joining us. Uh, welcome back to the channel if you check in with us frequently and if today's your first visit, thank you for being here. I truly appreciate it. Today I am in the farm kitchen making one of our children's favorite desserts, tray leche. Tray leche means three milks. So this is a dessert that I discovered when we had an abundance of eggs and our dairy cow was giving an abundance of milk. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Give it a try. You can use farm fresh eggs, farm fresh milk, or you absolutely can go to the store and buy yourself some eggs and the three kinds of milk that we will be using for this recipe and make this delicious cake for you and your family. We are going to start off with a nine by 13 rectangle cake pan. We have a teaspoon of vanilla. We have one and a half teaspoons baking powder a quarter of a teaspoon salt, we have one cup of sugar, we have a third of a cup of milk, and we have five eggs. Yes, there's five in there. I broke two. But there are five eggs separated. Whites in one bowl, yolks in the other bowl, and one cup of all-purpose flour. First things first, you don't have to do anything to your 9 by 13 pan. You don't have to grease it, flour it, nothing. And the cake itself is actually going to stay in the pan. So if you're going to put it out for display, choose a pan that uh, you're happy with what it looks like. And here we go with the cake. We are going to take our flour and we are going to add our salt, our one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, give it a stir. All right, we're gonna put that to the side for a minute. Next, we are going to take our egg yolks. We're going to stir them up. They're nice and bright right now, bright yellow. We're going to take three quarters of a cup of sugar and add it to our egg yolks. So I'm going to leave a quarter of a cup. This is not rocket science. This is a cake. Quarter of a cup. And for those who will ask, because I know someone will, or they'll comment, which is okay, a good comment or a negative comment is still a comment. I use this measuring cup for most everything. It is technically a liquid measuring cup versus dry measuring cups. The way I do math, a cup is a cup, two cups is two cups. I don't like extra dishes. So I use this for most everything and it works just fine. If you prefer specific dry ingredient cups and specific wet ingredient cups, you do you boo. But for me, I'll just stick with this one. We are going to mix the sugar and yolks very well until they become a lighter yellow. You could do this with a hand mixer or in a stand mixer if that makes you happy. I just go old school and give myself an arm workout. 
I don't know if the camera will pick up on the color difference, but it is definitely a lighter yellow than it was, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Next, we are going to take our egg whites, and we're going to add in our last quarter cup of sugar, a little bit at a time. Again, you could use a mixer, you could use a, a hand crank mixer, or you can just use a whisk. egg whites to look like this. If you go a little bit longer and get it to what's called a stiff peak consistency, that works just fine as well. Next step, we're going to take our vanilla, our one teaspoon of vanilla, and add it to our third of a cup of milk. Then we are going to slowly add that to our egg and sugar mixture, stirring as we go. Get this stirred well to combine. I almost forgot. We want to set our oven at 350 right off the get-go and get that preheating. I forgot, I'm gonna do it now. Now we will add our egg, sugar, milk, and vanilla mixture to our flour, salt, baking powder mixture. that around. We need this blended, but we don't need to go crazy with it. If you have a couple of lumps in there, it's not going to make a difference. egg white with sugar into our batter a little bit at a time. We want to be on the gentle side with it. I'm going to do a technique called folding where you're simply bringing your spatula down to the bottom of the bowl and up and around, down, up and around, down, up and around. Just keep doing that, that's called folding. And it's helping to keep the air in the egg whites. 
as opposed to stirring vigorously. egg whites is going to help this cake keep a light and fluffy consistency, which is really funny because this is actually a heavy, dense cake. But you need it to be light and fluffy to begin with. I am making a mess because I'm trying to do this using my left hand as opposed to my right hand so that you can see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll wash it off. And next we will pour it into our nine by 13. See how light and fluffy that is? air bubbles tell you how light and fluffy that is. Look at all of the air in that batter. And while the camera was off, the oven came up to temperature. We're going to go 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. We'll start at 25 and check it then. Okay, it was in the oven for 25 minutes. Let's just test with a toothpick to see if it's done. You want to just take a toothpick, insert it in the center of the cake, take it out, and if there's nothing on the toothpick, it means it's cooked. It's coming out clean, so that means it's cooked. I can feel it's definitely soft inside, but this is an airy cake, so that's what you want. It's perfect. As you can see, it's a beautiful golden on the top. The benefit of baking in a glass dish is that you can see the sides and underneath 
are a golden brown as well. This is perfect. This is just what you wanted. So we are going to let our cake sit on the counter and cool completely, however long that takes. Okay, we've waited several hours. It's now evening and the cake is completely cooled. And look how soft it is. It's very spongy like an angel food cake would be. So now we are going to do the tre leche, three milks. So I have a quarter cup of whole milk. I have one can of sweetened condensed milk and one can of evaporated milk. You completely could use cow's milk. Um, you could probably use goat's milk. I mean, I, I really think you could use any combination of milks that you wanted to. So raw milk you could use. You could use um, skim the cream off the milk if you're using raw milk. And then you could use the cream as like a separate kind of milk but you definitely want the sweetened condensed milk as one of the three because that gives you the sweetness. All right, I'm going to use my Graham's little can opener that was hers and I remember uh, her using this so it brings back fond memories every time I use that can opener. We're just going to dump all three into a bowl. So far this cake has been super easy, right? It doesn't get any more difficult, I promise. And just so no one's confused, I mean, sweetened, sweetened condensed milk isn't really anything like milk. I mean, you know, you're not going to drink this, but boy, you could eat it with a spoon. All right, and we're just going to stir this up. Just be careful because the sweetened condensed milk is thick and the other milks are not you could make a mess quickly. Okay, once you have your milks mixed together, just set it to the side. And for the fun part, you're gonna take a fork and you are going to poke a million holes in this thing. Don't worry about ruin, ruining it, you can't. All right, then we're simply going to take our milk mixture and we're going to pour it all over the top. We wanna to make sure that we get out to the edges and basically this milk is going to soak down into the cake. How cool is that, right? It's all gone. It's all down in the cake. Now I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and you at least want it to set in the refrigerator for an hour. I'm going to let this set overnight because that's just the way the timing is going to work out. You can let it set 
longer than an hour, but at least an hour. Welcome back to day two of Tre Leche, our Mexican inspired cake that we are making for company that we're having tonight. We're having tacos and burritos. So what better way to end the meal than with a decadent cake that really is so easy to do. If you have children, they could totally do this as long as you're supervising them with the oven, if you know, or if they're capable of it, obviously they could use the oven, but this really is a simple, simple cake and so delicious. Let's move on to the final step of the cake. We need one pint or two cups, it's the same, or a half a quart, it's the same. If we wanna confuse everyone, we'll go with two cups of heavy whipping cream into our mixer. I wanna get every drop out of here. Okay. Next, we need a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Just pour it in there. And we have three tablespoons of confectionery sugar. You absolutely could use regular granulated sugar if that's all you had three tablespoons of confectionery sugar. We need our cake that has been setting overnight, has soaked up the tray leche, the three milks, and it's heavy now. What once was a very light and spongy cake is now a heavy, dense cake. We're basically just making whipped cream here. Cover your ears. Here we are with our, <laughs> didn't mean to do that, whipped cream. And I know people are going to ask me, why are you using your dough hook instead of a whisk to whip your whipped cream? Well, the answer is simple. Because on this fairly expensive Bosch mixer, the um, attachment that fits down over the center of the whisk, in my opinion, was not really designed correctly. And when I was whisking one day, the center popped up just enough to catch as it was whipping around very quickly and busted the whole thing. So the whip attachment, which is actually a center and two beaters broke the plastic part and then the beater part got all mangled up because it was going around so quickly and I have not been able to um, purchase a new mixer. This is what I have or this is what I have. So I use this. And I didn't know if you happen to notice it's snowing out. How pretty is that? So this is it. We're just going to take the whipped cream and put it on top of our cake. We're going to use all of the whipped cream. 
and we're just going to smooth it around. You could get super fancy with this and pipe it on if you wanted to. I don't think it's necessary. This is a very decadent cake as it is, but you could make it as fancy or as simple as you would like. Our company that we're having over are a family of other farmers. They're super down to earth people. I believe that they will be just happy with a very simple decadent dessert. No need for fanciness. And the final touch is cinnamon. We're going to take some ground cinnamon. You can just shake it on. I'm going to use my um, sifter to hopefully get a more even look. I don't know if that's going to work, but we're going to try it. Okay, so here we have it, tray leche. An easy, super easy dessert for taco night, for Cinco de Mayo, for just a, a family gathering or a potluck. It's not something that you would normally see. It is decadent and delicious. And as you can see, it was super easy to make. I know you can do this. Give me a thumbs up, drop a comment if you've made this before, or if you try it, let me know what you think. Three milk cake, tre leche, you can do this.